Okay, so this uh, video began over time, so I've split it into two parts. This is the first part, and um, if you would like to see how to do uh, the another way on how to do this firework, please click on the uh, annotation if you see it, or the description below, and it gives you a different uh, different take on how to do it. Um, well, yeah, so the first part is the green one, the second part is pink, and uh, I hope you enjoy. Right, so the uh, first thing we're going to do is we are going to uh, come to here. We're going to go File, New, and we're going to set our canvas up. So we're going to go, I like to uh, keep it as a square. Just makes everything a little bit easier, and for this tutorial. Um, but yeah, it just makes it, everything just a little bit easier. And, um, right, so we just press OK, and we've got this uh, white background. That's great, but I really want this to be a... Um, I firework during the night time and uh, it makes it easier when it comes to putting it onto a different picture and whatnot to uh, have it onto a black background so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change it black and uh, you can do this when you're setting up a uh, the actual page but uh, truth be told I forgot so um, yeah right moving on what we're going to do first is we're going to set up some uh, guidelines and this is going to allow us to um well it, it's going to allow us to easily uh put a circle in the uh, center of our page so we're going to go to uh if you didn't see that we're going to go to a uh, view new guide vertical and that's going to bring our guide here if i knew how big my page was in centimeters i'd probably change it but it snaps quite nicely to the middle there if you just use the move tool and you can drag it as soon as that icon changes uh, yeah, just drag it, and we're going to go to uh, new guides again, and we're going to click horizontal this time because, well, yeah, we don't want two vertical ones. That would be silly. Uh, right, that's good. So uh, this is what we want. We've got uh, well two lines showing us the center of our page, and we're going to use this elliptical circle tool thing, and uh, we're going to click into the center of our image. Yep, it snaps quite nicely actually. And uh, we're going to press Alt Shift. Uh, when we hold this down, it's going to draw the circle from the middle, and it's going to keep it in scale. So uh, that is good. That's very good. Uh, right, that's good. So next up, we're going to uh, we're going to create a new layer, and this is going to be the um, sparks or, or shower, the shower of uh, the firework. I'm not sure what the technical technical name is. There's there's probably a technical name. If if you've got the technical name, uh tell me. And I'll be very interested to know. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to uh brushes. We're gonna get a white brush brush uh presets and if you don't have it over here then I think it's in a window and uh brushes and you, yeah, pops up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to scattering, and that's going to give us, allow us to uh, do this essentially. If we want to do it, it just creates many uh, circles at the same time. So what we uh, actually don't want that. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, we want this the uh, sparks to be further on the outside than in the center because obviously they're going to expand out and. Uh, we want it to look real, so we're just going to uh, add dots here. Doesn't have to be brilliant. Um, yeah, we're, we're creating a firework here. It's pretty random. Anyway, so can you see that? That yes, yeah, very quick. Actually, I'm gonna I think it's a bit too much in the center, so I'm just gonna add my own dots in here. Yeah. That's probably a bit too much, but hey. Um, right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, cancel this selection. So we're going to press Ctrl D, and it's going to deselect our marquee tool. Right, to make the uh, trail of these uh, sparks, we're going to press... Uh, oh, no, we're not. We're going to duplicate our, duplicate our shower layer. Double click it and I'm going to name this uh, trail. 
just because uh, it's going to be the trail of our our firework. So we've got done that. Then we're going to go to a uh, filter blur radial blur. I'm going to set this blur method to zoom. Uh, we're going to. It doesn't matter. I don't think uh, which one we press. I'm going to keep it at good. That sounds about right. Good, nice. And uh, we can change the amount. And I'm going to put the amount to uh, 50 because it sounds like a nice number. We don't want it to be too massive. In fact, no, no. We're going to put it to 60. And that really blurs our thing. We can see it's going gone either way from the center. And that is good. Then what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to duplicate this there, and then I'm going to press Control F, and that's going to blur do the exact same action. So that's uh, here. So Control F is going to give us another radial blur, and I'm going to do that one more time, and press Control F again, and that's nice. I'm now going to uh, select all of these uh, layers. So one, two, three. And I'm going to merge these layers together. So they're now one. And I'm going to press Ctrl T to uh, free transform it. Shift and drag it down. And we're going to essentially line up our trail. And that worked pretty nicely. It kind of it's a bit fiddly sometimes. If you've gone over it and it doesn't look right, just take your brush and. Um, yeah, paint, well, brush out what looks wrong. So, uh, hey, that's good. So, uh, to create the colour in this, because white fireworks are nice, but, you know, probably not the best ones. Well, I did, I quite like uh, different kind of fireworks. We're going to add a new layer here, and we're going to um, go to the gradient tool. Now, we're going to go to our gradient option, we're going to select noise. Yeah, so this is what it looks like if you haven't done this before. And noise looks like this. And we're essentially just going to press randomize until we get a nice color scheme that we like. Oh, actually, I like that. Damn it. Uh, yeah, okay. We'll have that one. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to press uh, the radial one here. We want this to be selected. Right, that's very important. Then we're going to select in the middle of our picture and just drag out. That's giving us a very funky looking uh, picture. And if we press Alt and click between our layer 1 and trail copy 2, uh, we get it uh, clips it to our, well, yeah, it clips it for us, which is brilliant. This is what we want. And as you can see, we've got coloured fireworks. Very snazzy. Um, that's a very useful tool, that Alt button. As soon as you see it, see it change colour, change icon even, just click it and it clips it or unclips it. Now that's very good for what we do. What we do. Hang on, my print is acting up. What is this doing? Hang on. Yoink! Right, yeah, I've just uh, unplugged my printer. It likes to clean itself. Very hygienic, I know, but it uh, it's a bit annoying. Right, that's uh, that's a bit of a sidetrack. So that's one way we can do uh, uh, fireworks. And if we just uh, create a new group, label it firework, and we just dump all of these things in. It's great. Phone call. Right, so uh, phone call is over, and uh, I can come back to you, although not much time has passed for you guys, which is uh, possibly good for you. So what, um, what I've done is I've basically uh, put all the layers into the firework layer, and I can just drag this, like so, into uh, wherever I like. Um, so, uh, but w what I do want to show you is uh, this. On the uh, if you go to your shower layer, effects, outer glow, we can make our um, sparks, if it were, glow, and it, it gives a nice kind of um, 
effect. So, uh, I mean, the uh, original, what they give you to begin with, is pretty decent. So, uh, I don't want to play about too much with it. In fact, yeah, I'm not. I'm just going to keep it as it is. It's a very nice. Uh, just makes it look a bit more fireworky, more bright. So it's just a small effect so there. Right, so uh, I've gone over time a little bit for this tutorial. Well, I did both of them, and uh, they take about 16 minutes uh, put together. I've only got 15. So I'm going to split this in two. Uh, the first part showing you uh, what, what was this, and the second part is um, a different image. The, the pink one that you saw at the beginning, uh, if you want to go back to it now, if you want to see it, then uh, just click on the annotation or the link in the description, or if you see it in the related bar next to uh, the, well, yeah, next to our my video, then check it out. So I hope to see you on uh, the other side. I think this would be a great time to say uh, rate, comment, and subscribe.